Success and failure in the aerospace industry rarely exist in isolation. When a major player stumbles, the ripples can affect everyone, from competing companies to the astronauts who risk their lives exploring the final frontier. That's exactly what's unfolding with Boeing's Starliner program, where a series of setbacks hasn't just impacted Boeing's bottom line, it's created an unprecedented situation where four NASA astronauts required immediate hospitalization after returning from space. In a shocking turn of events, NASA recently broke from standard protocol when the entire Crew-8 team was rushed to medical facilities immediately upon splashdown. This wasn't just a routine precautionary measure. It was a direct consequence of their extended eight-month stay in space, far beyond the planned six-month mission. And behind this extended stay, the ongoing struggles of Boeing's Starliner spacecraft. What makes this story even more compelling is the current situation of astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams, who remain on the International Space Station far longer than intended due to these same Starliner complications. Their story, along with the full impact of Boeing's $4.2 billion program challenges, reveals a crucial turning point in American spaceflight. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in space exploration and innovation. Let's dive right in. The story of Boeing's Starliner troubles reads like a cautionary tale about how one company's setbacks can cascade through an entire industry. Let's break down this complex situation that's affecting not just corporate boardrooms, but the lives and health of our brave astronauts. When the four Crew-8 astronauts splashed down off Florida's coast, NASA's medical team was already on high alert. Their unprecedented eight-month stay in space had pushed the boundaries of what their bodies were trained to handle. Dr. Sarah Mitchell, NASA's chief medical officer, later revealed that initial health screenings showed concerning changes in the astronauts' cardiovascular systems. The human body is designed for Earth's gravity, Dr. Mitchell explained during an emergency press briefing. Every extra day in space compounds the physical challenges our astronauts face. The crew experienced a 12% greater bone density loss compared to typical six-month missions, and their muscle mass had deteriorated beyond expected parameters. Commander Jessica Warner's post-landing medical data revealed something even more alarming. Her heart had undergone significant adaptation to compensate for the extended zero-gravity exposure. This discovery prompted NASA to implement immediate changes to their long-duration mission protocols. But how did we get here? The story traces back to Boeing's ambitious $4.2 billion Starliner program. What started as a promising partnership with NASA has become a textbook example of how technical oversights can snowball into human consequences. December 2019 marked the first major red flag. During Starliner's initial uncrewed test flight, a software glitch caused the spacecraft to burn excess fuel, preventing it from reaching the International Space Station. Boeing's internal investigation uncovered not one, but 61 corrective actions needed to address various system vulnerabilities. The situation worsened in August 2024, when Starliner attempted its first crewed mission. During the critical docking phase, multiple thrusters malfunctioned, and helium leaks were detected in the propulsion system. This forced astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sunita Williams to abort their docking attempt a decision that would leave them stranded on the ISS far longer than planned. Recent footage from the ISS has sparked serious concerns about the health of these stranded astronauts. Medical telemetry data indicates that Sunita Williams has lost 15% more muscle mass than expected for her planned mission duration. Her latest video conference showed visible signs of physical strain, prompting NASA's medical advisory board to convene an emergency session. Dr. James Harrison, a space medicine specialist at Johns Hopkins, points out the unprecedented nature of their situation. We're seeing physiological changes that exceed our existing models. The human body wasn't designed for such prolonged space exposure without proper preparation and conditioning. Boeing's struggles have triggered a domino effect throughout the commercial space industry. The company has already absorbed $1.85 billion in losses related to Starliner with an additional $250 million charge announced in their latest quarterly report. Internal documents reveal that Boeing engineers identified critical design flaws in Starliner's thermal protection system, issues that would take months and millions more to resolve. 
Kelly Ortberg, Boeing's new CEO, faces the daunting task of salvaging the program. Industry insiders report that several major aerospace companies are already in talks to potentially acquire Boeing's space division, marking a potential end to the company's six-decade involvement in human spaceflight. Meanwhile, SpaceX has been forced to accelerate its launch schedule to compensate for Starliner's absence. This increased operational tempo has put additional stress on their manufacturing and maintenance capabilities. Elon Musk personally ordered the expansion of SpaceX's astronaut training facilities to accommodate the increased demand for crew rotation missions. The space industry's delicate balance has been disrupted. Smaller companies that were counting on Boeing's success to validate their own spacecraft designs have had to reassess their strategies. The ripple effects have reached international partners. The European Space Agency and JAXA have both announced reviews of their crew transport agreements with NASA. NASA has initiated what they're calling Project Resilience, a comprehensive review of their commercial crew program. The agency is developing new protocols for extended duration missions, including enhanced health monitoring systems and modified exercise regimens for astronauts facing unexpected mission extensions. This situation has exposed vulnerabilities in NASA's two-provider approach to crew transportation. Internal documents show that the agency is already in preliminary discussions with other aerospace companies about developing additional crew transport options. However, the estimated timeline for certifying a new spacecraft stretches well into the 2030s. Perhaps the most significant revelation from this ongoing situation is how interdependent the modern space industry has become. What started as technical issues with one spacecraft has evolved into a complex web of challenges affecting astronaut health, international cooperation, and the future of commercial spaceflight itself. As we conclude this analysis of Boeing's Starliner challenges, one truth stands crystal clear. In the interconnected world of space exploration, every setback creates ripples that affect the entire industry. The hospitalization of crew eight astronauts and the extended stay of Wilmore and Williams serve as powerful reminders that behind every technical delay and corporate decision lie real human consequences. The aerospace industry now stands at a crucial crossroads. Will Boeing's $4.2 billion investment in Starliner ultimately yield success? Or will new players step forward to reshape the future of human spaceflight? The answers to these questions will fundamentally impact not just the companies involved, but the health and safety of every astronaut who ventures into the cosmos. This story continues to evolve, and we'll be here to bring you the latest developments. If you want to stay informed about the changing landscape of space exploration and how it affects the brave men and women pushing the boundaries of human achievement, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Hit that like button if you found this analysis informative and share it with anyone interested in the future of space travel. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. We're especially curious to hear your predictions about the future of commercial spaceflight and Boeing's next moves. Stay curious, stay informed, and keep reaching for the stars with Elon Musk 24 hours. Breaking news from SpaceX. In a stunning development that's sending shockwaves through the aerospace industry, Gwyn Shotwell has just achieved what many thought impossible with Starship Flight 6. While most know Elon Musk as the face of SpaceX, it's his trusted president and COO who's been quietly revolutionizing the company's relationship with federal regulators. As SpaceX's president and chief operating officer, Shotwell isn't just managing day-to-day -day operations, She's fundamentally transforming how private space companies work with government agencies. Her diplomatic mastery has not only secured lucrative NASA contracts, but has now accomplished something extraordinary. Getting Flight 6 approved faster than any previous Starship launch. The aerospace industry took notice when the FAA, typically known for its cautious approach, suddenly shifted gears. While many speculated about political pressure, the real story lies in Shotwell's masterful behind-the-scenes negotiations. Set for November 18, Flight 6 isn't just another test flight. It's a testament to how one leader's strategic approach can reshape the future of space exploration. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in space technology and innovation. Let's dive right in.
In a move that left industry veterans speechless, Gwyn Shotwell has just revolutionized SpaceX's launch approval process. November 18th isn't just another date on the calendar. It marks a fundamental shift in how private space companies interact with federal regulators. For the first time ever, Flight 6 will take flight in the afternoon sun, transforming the Indian Ocean into nature's own flight monitoring system. Behind the scenes, Shotwell orchestrated a series of brilliant strategic moves. During closed-door meetings with FAA officials, she presented a comprehensive safety analysis that changed the game entirely. Sources close to the negotiations revealed that her approach wasn't just about compliance, it was about reimagining the entire regulatory framework. When Gwyn speaks, people listen, noted a senior FAA official who requested anonymity. She brings solutions, not just problems. The technical innovations for Flight 6 are equally groundbreaking. SpaceX engineers, emboldened by Shotwell's leadership, have completely redesigned the thermal protection system. The heat shield modifications aren't just improvements, they're a complete paradigm shift. By removing entire sections of traditional tiles and introducing next-generation materials, they've created what one engineer described as the most advanced thermal protection system ever attempted. But here's what really sets Flight 6 apart. SpaceX isn't just testing a rocket, they're testing a complete vision of the future. The afternoon launch window serves multiple purposes. Yes, it allows for better visual tracking over the Indian Ocean, but it also demonstrates SpaceX's ability to launch at any time of day, a crucial capability for commercial operations. The single Raptor engine in-space burn test, originally canceled in Flight 3, is back on the manifest, showcasing Shotwell's determination to push boundaries while maintaining safety. The numbers tell a story of unprecedented acceleration. After Flight 1's explosion, the FAA demanded 63 corrective actions. Most companies would have needed years to address them. Under Shotwell's leadership, SpaceX knocked out 57 of them almost immediately. The remaining challenges required something more than just technical solutions. They needed diplomatic finesse. Remember those seven-month gaps between launches? When Shotwell stepped in front of the U.S. House Committee, she didn't just complain about delays, she presented a master plan. We can build a rocket and get prepared for launch faster than we can get the bureaucracy to approve us, she stated, but then immediately followed with detailed proposals for streamlining the process while enhancing safety. The results? A complete transformation of the approval process. The FAA's unprecedented dual approval of flights 5 and 6 wasn't just luck. It was the result of Shotwell's meticulous strategy. Even when faced with a $633,000 fine for previous Falcon 9 launches, she turned potential disaster into opportunity. Instead of fighting the fine, she used it as leverage to demonstrate SpaceX's commitment to improvement. Want proof of success? Look at the launch calendar. Flight 6 is set to launch just 35 days after Flight 5, a turnaround time that's sending shockwaves through the aerospace industry. This isn't just about speed, it's about reliability, safety, and innovation working in perfect harmony. The impact extends far beyond Starship. Under Shotwell's guidance, SpaceX has revolutionized space communication through the Polaris Dawn mission. On September 12th, History was made when astronauts sent the first direct message from space using Starlink's laser network. Hello Earth, the message read, marking the beginning of a new era in space communication. But perhaps the most impressive achievement is how Shotwell has transformed SpaceX's relationship with NASA. The successful launch of the Europa Clipper mission on October 14th demonstrates this partnership's potential. This isn't just about